What's going on people, Derek Bennett here for those who don't know me, and if you do know me, you know how we get down. We're going to be talking about a lick I played inside of this song, Soul, with a capital S by Tower of Power. Added my little twist onto it, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did right now. So as you see, I slowed it down a little bit for you guys. It was around 120 or 119 BPM there, uh, the fastest speed. And the bass line is pretty simple. It's just going from a five, uh, no, from the one to the five to the flat seven. Okay, so I'm just playing it a little muted. I'm muting with my left hand or my fretting hand. And then it walks down to the F sharp from the A. Okay, but we're talking about the lick. We're talking about the riff here. So the riff starts on the E of one. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Da 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 da. That's where the lick starts, okay? So get that in your head while we're listening to this. So I'm gonna practice this or play this a little bit slower for you guys so you can see exactly where it lands and I'm gonna loop the, the lick back to back. So watch this. One E. One E. One E. So that's first and foremost, where does this lick lie in the measure? So one E and a two E and a three E. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing sixteenth notes. I'm doing a chromatic line descending from the seventh or the flat seven of the root note. Okay, so I'm in the key of D. I'm using a mixolydian scale. Inside of this song, you can play around with the mixolydian scale and do different licks and different riffs uh, and things like that. I don't know. You can play around with it using that flat seven and the major three. So I like to play around with those two elements, the flat seven and the major three. So let's start from the top. So I'm actually starting on the C. It's like a pickup note. So my C is the one. Okay, one E and a two E and a one E. Okay, so you get it? So octave, C octave, boom. So one E, one E, one E, two, three, four, one E. So I'm walking it down chromatically. So we have, let's call out the notes here. We have C, B, B flat, A, A flat, A, or G, sorry, excuse me. So that much, okay? I'm chromatically, I'm going down consecutive notes, not skipping any uh, steps or anything like that, half steps all the way down. But I'm not playing it that way. I'm not playing it linear. It's a little bit tougher to play it cleaner when you're going straight down, descending on one string. The fingering gets kind of messed up. So what I like to do is just play that second note or play that fourth note. Okay, so I'm playing the C, B, B flat, all on the G string. When I get to that B flat, when I want to play the A, I go up to the D string. Okay, so. And I walk it down again. So three on the G string, and then three on the D string. Get it? It's a big, it's a little stretch right there from the B flat to the A, but you got it. Go ahead and shift up there if you have to. You don't have to stretch this out. Okay, so that's the first part. Yeah, that's the first part of the lick. Okay, so. Or you want to play the pickup if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Boom. And then what I do is I do a little turnaround to the major third. So from the flat three to the major third. I like doing that a lot. If you follow me for any length of time, you know that I like playing that 
turnaround or the surrounding that that third or that major note so i can play that fourth my ma uh, minor third or flat third third major third da -da -da. i like playing that okay so you'll see that's in my style a lot this is really derived or yeah it really derives from like a bebop lick like a dominant seven bebop <laughs> it really derives from like a bebop lick but we'll talk more about bebop licks in the future it's more chromatic line or uses a lot more chromaticism inside of those lines or inside of those scales uh, and it's very 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 fun to use and to improvise over but we'll go over that at a later date but this is kind of like that or in the realm same realm uh, but anyway, let's finish the lick. So. so when I'm playing that minor third or the flat three, I'm playing first finger, second finger. So fingering for this. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two. Got it? Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two. One. One. One E. One E. So let's play the second part of this lick. Very, very simple. I'm just ending it and turning it around to the root note. D, B, A, B, D. That's the lick, that's the riff. And luckily, these are all 16th notes. Okay. F to the F sharp, D, B, A, B, D. Fingering for that, let's go. Uh, after you do one, uh, two, to the D, I'm playing my fourth finger here so I can stretch back to that B. Okay, you see that? Looks a little unorthodox, but trust me, it works in order for you to get to that note. So, D, B, A, B, D. Four, one, four, one, four. And that's the end of the lick. So let's play it in its entirety uh, a little bit slower this time. One. One E. And you can use this lick everywhere. Uh, it's very versatile, especially in this type of a song or this type of funk vibe. It allows you to add a little bit more chromaticism to your playing, like that first line. Like that descending line in the beginning is very, very useful. Also, it's a great exercise to use and to play and to utilize inside of your playing. So that was a quick lick. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, take it and run with it. You can start from a different point. I don't know. You can start from wherever you want to start. That didn't really make sense. But anyway, you get the idea. So take that concept, run with it, use that same lick and a bunch of other different things. There's tons of other songs that you can use that in. And uh, I'll break down some of the other licks that I've done in a future lessons. And trust me, there's more to come. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. If you have any questions, you guys know exactly what to do. And I'll get to them as soon as I possibly can. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.